the Senate is likely going to vote on this tax reform package this week. Is it going to go to conference? Oh, it absolutely is going to go to conference. I mean, that's the way the system is set up. Uh, there are uh, great similarities between the two bills, but there are distinct differences, too. They'll have to be worked out in conference. There absolutely will be a conference. Some of those differences include the state and local tax deduction issue, as well as this trigger issue as a potential form of revenue. What do you make of, of these potential differences? Well, it is important to a number of our uh, members, not so much me personally, but to other members, what we call the SALT, the, so the uh, sales and, and, and local tax uh, deduction. So I think in some form or fashion, a portion of that is going to have to be preserved. Uh, those of us in the House uh, aren't all that thrilled with the uh, tax trigger. I really? personally find it to be a uniquely bad idea, uh, and I think it is bad public policy. We need to be able to tell corporate America, we need to be able to tell our small businesses, this is your tax rate. This is something that you can count on. This is something that you can go ahead and do capital expenditures uh, and, and, and count on. And so what we know is uh, it's not just economic theory, but frankly, it's economic history. The difference between having an economy grow at three and three and a half percent versus one and a half to two percent, which has been the average under the eight years of Obamanomics, the bottom line is we'll be able to fill any deficit hole uh, with additional revenues. And we basically saw the same uh, during the Reagan tax cut, frankly, the Kennedy tax cut. You can even go all the way back to the Coolidge tax cut. We will be able to raise more revenues. And if not, uh, as a Republican, uh, the answer would be less spending, not more tax.